After wrapping up the successful TV run of German Tanteidan Maringumi, the production team behind the Toei Fushigi comedy series made a decision to make the fourth pivot in the long-running brand's direction. What started with a series of shows focused on robots, extraterrestrials, and detective teams would now move to what is often described as its magical girl face. While this new direction was informed by the popularity of Sukeban Deka and Chojo Commando Izumi, the new program took most of its cues and inspiration from the popular witch and magical girl genre established by classic Japanese works like Sally the Witch and Himitsu no Akochan. Another critical decision made by the production team for this phase of the Toei Fushigi comedy series was to cast someone who would be familiar to the target audience and could easily boost the new show's visibility and profile, an up-and-coming idol. They would find their lead in Natsuki Osawa, who by this time had appeared in a series of movies, released two music albums, and previously appeared in the Toei-produced TV series Hana no Asuka Gumi. On January 15, 1989, the new TV series would debut on Fuji TV, Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai. It was an instant success that would pave the way for five follow-up series that would air through 1993. The show opens with the sudden and mysterious appearance of a bride who proclaims she will never marry King Gomoku of the Shuka Magic Realm. She has been chased by his henchmen, Nurhachi and Takla Makan, but eventually is able to evade them and blend in with the city crowds. We eventually learn that the person to whom Pai Pai's heart belongs to, Raymond, was captured by the king and turned into a bowl of ramen. Pai Pai promises that she will find a way to restore him back. We are then introduced to the Takayama household, which is headed by Yukio Takayama, a self-proclaimed famous archaeologist who dresses like Indiana Jones and prefers to conduct research instead of being home with his three sons, Akira, Toru, and Shingo. Yukio is about to embark on his next trip and alerted the kids that their aunt, Sangen Jaja, will be staying with them while he's gone. Alarmed by this, the brothers set out to find someone else to stay with them while their dad is away. Their efforts eventually lead to Pai Pai visiting their home and agreeing to watch them. But as soon as the arrangement is finalized, Yukio departs for his next adventure, leaving Pai Pai and the three siblings behind. This kicks off a series of events through which Pai Pai ends up confronting her Chuka Magic Realm pursuers and is caught transforming by the kid's aunt who now knows she is a witch. This leads to a series of one-off stories where Pai Pai helps the Takayama brothers find their way through everyday life challenges, while fending off their aunt who is trying to prove she is a witch and avoiding being taken back to the Shuka magic realm and a forced marriage to King Gomoku. Tired of his henchmen's continuing failures in bringing back Pai Pai, King Gomoku takes matters into his own hands in episode 25, which sets in motion the final arc of the series. The story would conclude with Pai Pai restoring Raymond back to normal, the king being transformed to a bowl of Gomoku soup, and her departure from the Takayama residence to head back to the Shuka Magic Realm. Unlike Toei's other Tokutatsu hero franchises, Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai puts less emphasis on its action and visual effect scenes, choosing instead to focus on character interactions and slice-of-life moments. At its core, 
The show's story is about Pai Pai's relationship with the Takayama brothers and its growth throughout the series. This leads to most of its stories being less about supernatural situations, monsters, or magic, to the point where some episodes make very limited use of Pai Pai's costume alter ego. This doesn't necessarily make this program a bad one, just one that conforms more closely to previous entries in the Fushigi comedy series than Toei's Tokutatsu Hero series from this period. One aspect of the series that does align with Toei's other Tokutatsu programs is that it's designed from the ground up as a merchandising vehicle, where the Super Sentai series of this era lean heavily on the character's personal weapons, transforming devices, and robots for its toy sales. Magical girl Shukana Pai Pai puts a heavy focus on her magic wand, pendant, and assorted magical items. And like the Super Sentai series, you can see these tie-in products used throughout the series, with some being more blatant product integrations than others. For example, in episode 15, Pai Pai is turned into a doll for the majority of the episode. This happens to be the same doll that was an integral part of the series' toy catalog. Like other shows from this period, the series was also adapted into manga, which was published in TV Land and Pyeong Pyeong Magazine. These stories complemented the TV series and allowed fans to get a supplemental view into the series' world. While the series was very popular and scheduled for a full yearly run, Natsuki Osawa decided to drop from the show, which resulted in a challenging situation for Toei plus its broadcast and merchandising partners. The solution they came up with, though, allowed them to continue to build on the initial success of magical girl Shukana Pai Pai and establish a new ongoing format for this broadcast block. Following the credits of Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai's final episode, we are introduced to Shuka Ipanema, who would play the title character in the Magical Girl series that immediately followed Pai Pai's last episode, Magical Girl Shukana Ipanema. As a result of the short turnaround between productions of the two series, Ipanema inherits several elements from its predecessor, including its setting, some of its supporting characters, and general format. So, while Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai's wrapped up with an unplanned for rush ending, it opened the door to five future series and became an influential and popular work for Toei. In the years following its original broadcast, Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai was released on home DVD in 2003 as a two-part set. It was the first of the Fushigi comedy series to be fully released on DVD. The show has also been made available through various streaming services, including YouTube, where the first two episodes are available to the North American market with English subtitles. This is the first time any part of this series has been released domestically in the US. If you haven't explored the Toei Fushigi comedy Magical Girl series, or in general, have an interest in shows that Toei produced in the late 1980s, Magical Girl Shukana Pai Pai is a great entry point that delivers a different flavor of Toei's proven formula for tokutatsu hero shows.